Please read this manual carefully. You will need the following accessories to add engine oil, a small funnel and 10 to 30 watt engine oil. Open the service door. Unscrew the dipstick and fill the crankcase with engine oil as recommended in manual. Screw the dipstick back into place. Close the service door. Starting an LPG mode, propane, butane. Attach the LPG supply hose to the LPG inlet on the control panel. Connect the hose with the pressure reducer to a gas cylinder and fix it. Make sure that the gasoline fuel switch is in the off position. Open the valve on the gas cylinder and ensure the connection is tight. Press the pressure relief button on the gas hose reducer three times. Pull the choke knob out. Please note, the choke knob position depends on the ambient temperature and the composition of the gas mixture. Set the engine switch to ON. Pull out the recoil starter rope until you feel a slight resistance. Pull the recoil starter rope all the way out and slowly return the recoil starter handle back. After the generator has started, press the choke knob. Allow the generator to run for 1-2 minutes before connecting any electrical appliances. Plug the appliances into the generator outlet. Turn on the appliances. Gasoline operation. Shut the valve on the gas cylinder. Open the fuel cap and fill the fuel tank with gasoline. Close the fuel cap and set the vent valve to ON. Set the gasoline fuel switch to ON. Pull the choke knob out. Set the engine switch to ON. Pull out the recoil starter rope until you feel a slight resistance. Pull the recoil starter rope all the way out and slowly return the recoil starter handle back. After the generator has started, press the choke knob. Let the generator run for 1-2 minutes before connecting any electrical appliances. Plug the appliances into the generator outlet. Turn on the appliances. Shutting down the generator. Turn off electrical appliances connected to the generator. Unplug the appliances from the generator outlets. Allow the generator to run idle for 1-2 minutes. If generator was powered by LPG, close the valve on the gas cylinder. If generator was powered by gasoline, set the gasoline fuel switch to OFF. Wait for the generator to run out of fuel and set the engine switch to OFF.